It's been nearly two weeks since the fire at TNR Electric in Coleman. Kelloland News intern Carter Schmidt takes us to Coleman to find out what the company is planning to do moving forward. The wake up call came in around 4.20 a.m. July 1st for firefighters in Coleman. Crews responded to TNR Electric Supply Company for a fire in a storage building. Officials say the cause was lightning. Bill Hawkins, who is a TNR employee and volunteer firefighter, was on scene that morning. We had 29 firefighters on our department. We had 25 firefighters here on scene. Um, we had eight fire departments show up. I believe we had about 31 fire trucks and 80 personnel from around uh, the community uh, show up, um, which was, uh, was very helpful for the for the amount of fire we had. TNR plans to rebuild the three damaged buildings, but the company must wait for insurance to be finalized. Right now we're trying to decide exactly what we're going to put back in the spot where the buildings were. We're definitely going to rebuild. It's just a matter of if we're going to do the same thing or if we're going to do something probably a little bit different. The fire is the largest the city of Coleman has seen in 50 years. Eight fire departments were on scene, as well as members from the community showing their support. We had a lot of uh, just community members get together and they started grilling uh, hamburgers. So we had hamburgers and, uh, and uh, water and Gatorade brought out to us right here on scene. Um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of other local businesses stepped up and brought uh, food and water also. Around 24 local businesses helped deliver water to fight the flames. Coleman Fire Chief and part owner of Landis Egg Sales, Jason Landis, was overwhelmed by the support. The farmers, I, my phone just blew up with text messages and phone calls and of, if you need water, let us know, and, and a lot of times I would just, at that time, I would just tell them to bring it. So. It was very humbling to see that, um, really makes you feel like you're a part of something special in a community like that where everybody just drops everything and comes out to help. Um, just the true meaning of what a community in small town is, is like, it was, it was awesome. In Coleman, Carter Schmidt, Kelloland News. The company did have some inventory stored in the buildings that were damaged, but it's back to production as normal. They hope to begin rebuilding later this year.